step one on a big journey to come. We are three of us are traveling to Costa Rica to start a new life. I haven't told any people about this, but more to come soon. Stay tuned. All right, so we're here in Miami awaiting our next step to Costa Rica in about 40 minutes. We got the dogs, they both survived. Her gloves flying, Jasmine not so much. See, she's still hiding a little bit. <laughs> but more to come soon. Uh, next stop, we will be in San Jose, Costa Rica. So keep it. Hey guys, we have arrived. Do you see these two? Big smiles. And we are with the Costa Rican and world famous La Sara Elena. Hello. She is my liaison, my, I don't even know, tour guide of consciousness in Costa Rica. Um, not only helping out with the things that I couldn't do by not being here, but picking me up at the airport and providing fresh, amazing plantain chips for me and the pups because we haven't eaten since probably two o'clock in the morning. And I could barely eat then. So anyway, we are here in beautiful heaven, also known to the people here as Costa Rica. And to you from the outside world as a place that you are, for some reason, scared to go to because you watch Jurassic Park, but there is nothing to be afraid of here but perfection. <laughs> and your highest self is waiting for you here as I just found out as I stepped into my own, which I've been waiting for my entire life. So thank you, universe. Thank you, Sarah. You amazing being, and thank you, Costa Rica. More to come soon. When I grip, when I grip, that's on me, that's on me. Yo, pure music, it's fame, it's true. Como tabletas y teléfonos móviles. Sea cuidadoso al abrir los compartimientos superiores, ya que el equipaje pudo haberse movido durante el vuelo. Y gracias por elegir Man, American Airlines. <laughs> Costa Rica makes the happiest dogs in the world. Look at those faces. Hopefully we don't get hit with that Marley copyright credit there. Well, hello guys. I have arrived in Costa Rica with my buddy Hercules, who loved the flight, and into our first apartment here with Miss Jasmine. Who didn't like the flight so much, but now that we're here in our cool new place, which is, in my opinion, lovely for the price that I'm paying, um, it's cool. Eric's chilling, we got fans, we also have central air, got a nice little kitchen, spare bedroom, Paco Beach. I'm about. I don't know, I'd say, I think it's 1.8 kilometers from the beach, which is just under a mile. Um, so it's a couple minute walk to the beach. Hercules is happy. This place is extraordinary. I have to give a lot of credit to Sarah, or on YouTube, you guys can find her at La Sarah Elena. And I believe she's also at that website as well, so lasarahelena.com. Uh, subscribe to her at YouTube. Also hit subscribe button right now and hit this like button and hit share if you want to send it to some friends who have been talking about moving to a foreign country or you know going on a journey or experience that they know will transform into a much more cathartic spiritual endeavor. This is definitely something very unique and, uh, and rare to do obviously not many people do this but I've been thinking about it for years I had to jump on it um, just in the timeliness of this it's 2020 obviously we always seen that as symbolism for seeing clearly um, but those of us who are existing on planet earth in the year 2020 we know very well that things are changing rapidly that um, you know our society as we knew it shut down uh, the matrix is breaking. Uh, many of us are hacking the matrix. A lot of shedding um, as a result, a lot of growth 
and a lot of manifestation of the spirit and the being and the consciousness that I always knew I was that had been within that I suppose others had seen and hoped for and that I had hoped for but in the environment I was in I was unable to properly express it or liberate it or cultivate it because I came quite simply said from the most chaotic competitive malicious place on planet earth which is the New York City tri-state area and the surrounding region where the cost of living is twice as much as the average income per household everybody is fighting to survive the taxes are substantial they had to evaluate where on earth this might not happen because earth seems to be plagued by the same type of demonic um, embodiments that call themselves humans where money is more important than their moral compass than loyalty to family than um, friends than romance money is more important than life for a lot of people and they will do anything to keep their money coming and they will sacrifice any amount of their life and their self and their destiny and their potential and their hopes and their dreams just to get money which ultimately is unfulfilling and just by living the way that these people lived everybody in that tri-state area um, made me want to do the complete opposite of that because they were un everybody I know up there is unhappy and unsatisfied and even if they're good people and they have kindness in their heart and they have goodness in their soul it becomes corrupted and filtered because of the nature of the environment of the place they live in and they they start to sacrifice those ideals and those principles and those characteristics that are the core of their self myself included and anytime there's more depth that arrives they push it away because it frightens them because just like what I'm doing here everything that we have always dreamed for is going to terrify us it's going to be terrifying but if we don't run at the fears we have in life and fight them and beat them down and confront them and show ourselves that they weren't fears in the first place, they were our intuitions, temptations to find a better version of ourselves. Some people say the journey is the destination and it's kind of nonsense because I just went through like an amazing journey. Um, my, Jasmine was horrified on the airplane, it was terrifying. Like there was a chance that I wasn't gonna make it to my destination because the plane could have crashed randomly or like who knows what could have happened. Um, but the journey is not the destination. That phrase needs to be changed. Like this is the destination. I wanted to be here. I wanted to be in Costa Rica. I wanted to not be filled with gray hair. I wanted to not be covered in rain. I wanted to potentially raise a family down here if family is what's planned for me by the universe. But at the least, I wanted to bring my dogs down here and avoid winters for the rest of our lives and get out of that corrupt place that just overcharges for lack. Like they don't give us anything and the country is dissolving into a third world country very fast. If you look at the infrastructure and you look at the homes, I mean, I lived in a town called West Milford in Northern New Jersey. If you drive around West Milford, the homes, the houses are so ugly and deteriorated and rotted and they have tarps on their roofs because they can't fix the houses and you know there's no stairways in the front and people got to go in through like windows and it's like junky central and you just drive up and down the streets and it's depressing and it's a reflection of what's going on in the whole country and then I come to Costa Rica where I was told they don't have much and and they try to take advantage of gringos yo I'm in this apartment which is like legitimate two bedroom. I got beautiful views. There's a full bathroom. You gotta see this bathroom. This is like, listen, it's not the leap of luxury that I will be in soon, or I have been, in, but come on, like look at the size of this shower. Now this is the best, I'm in the shower, and I look out at that mountain that those uh, cows were on, and it's like, this is literally a slice of heaven. And the, the shock, I almost took my face out. The shocking part, this is the shocking, extraordinary part. I'm 1.8 kilometers, so like maybe 0.7 miles from the Pacific Ocean, from 
Hako, which is near Playa Hermosa, which is the best surfing on planet Earth. You can look that up. For this, like high ceilings, those are maybe nine foot ceilings, beautiful, AC, big refrigerator, $336 a month. I just bought myself and my Sarah, my Sarah, Sarah Elena, um, who you guys should go subscribe to, La Sarah Elena, got great stuff. She is, what she does is, um, she helps with moves down here and she does everything. She picked me up from the airport. Um, she's connected me, me with my attorney. She's oh, so much, like researched cars for me. She's researched all these apartments for me. She's done background on my, on my house for me. She's, I can't even keep listing everything she's done and then, so I went and bought her groceries, uh, both of us groceries. I got you know, a good week and a half's worth of groceries and I got her a good week and a half or so worth of groceries. It cost me $78 American, and um, which is pretty much equivalent, if not a little bit less than what we would pay in the United States. And, and I was watching all these videos about Costa Rica and everybody was saying that the groceries are like three to five times more expensive. Well, don't go to the giant supermarkets that import all the American goods. You're in Costa Rica. Like, drink their coffee. Costa Rica has the be Costa Rica best coffee on planet Earth, besides Sumatra and a couple other places, Ethiopia. But like, arguably, Costa Rica is the best coffee on planet Earth. And this costs me less than a dollar American, this whole thing. Um, you know, fresh salt from the ocean that they're extracting properly. Like, you get real organic good stuff. You know, rice cakes with quinoa and salt. This was, this whole case was like a dollar fifty or two dollars maybe. But the culture here is just, it's extraordinary guys. And, and Sarah put me on. I have to thank my attorney, Andres Gomez. I have to thank my realtor, Dennis Lara, who's um, getting me set up with my first home down here, which you guys will see very soon. I'm super excited to open that world up to you because uh, I am buying a small farm a little further away. It's about 15 minutes from a different beach um, in Parita, uh, which is a bit south. It's a bit more dangerous. It's got some of the toughest undertow on planet Earth, so people do get pulled out a lot. It's got saltwater crocodiles that sit at the riverbed right by the ocean mouth. An experience I've never experienced in my life, and I've traveled all over Europe, um, Central America, all over North America, uh, you know, the Caribbean, all different places, and I've never encountered people with that kindness and disposition. So there's something special about this place, guys. Um, if you want to hear more, subscribe to my videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more. Like this video. Share this video with anybody that's interested in checking out Costa Rica. Have them reach out to me, and definitely have them reach out to La Sara Elena. Go to her YouTube, subscribe to it. You will benefit so much if you've ever considered this or just want to see an awesome life in Costa Rica. Thanks, guys.